Hey, buddy, eyes on me. This is an amateur hour. We rolling? Fuck. Bullshit. We're here at the grand opening of BJ's Wholesale in Madison Heights. With two other wholesale stores within a one mile radius, BJ's management plans to stay competitive with savings they say will blow your mind. Or load. Whatever. It's fucking BJ's, right? Can we do that again? That was shit. Dude, we're live. And you didn't think to tell me that? Here, turn this shit off. Give me that. Pack your things, RJ. Better. It's not that bad. You just hit one million views on your BJ video. Don't say it like that. And this is not the first one to make it to trending. Did you know you have an entire playlist of freakouts? Congratulations on you and your success. Now, pack your things. Pat, <laughs> come on. Give me one more chance. How can you ask that of me? I've vouched for you for a while now, RJ, because yeah. I know you. I brought you in. But you have no respect for the job, and you have no respect for the crew. Nobody wants to work with you. No respect for the job? I've been here a decade, Bev. I made this station what it is. I covered Kilpatrick and Flint. And now this prick Anderson gets all my stories? I'm stuck with the fluff pieces no one wants. Well, seeing you brought him up, let's talk about Anderson. He's professional. He shows up on time, does the job. He's nice. I'm nice. I get no, no support. This is absolute horseshit. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with all you idiots, huh? Look, I can do the job. Give me an assignment. I'll do it right now. You don't need another assignment, RJ. You need to go home. Go home to your apartment. Go to your girlfriend. I don't have a... I don't have anything else, Bev. Just... Look, just give me one more chance. If I fuck up, then fire me, whatever. You'll never see me again. I've given this station 10 years of my life, Bev. So just, just give me one more chance. Please. I do have one story, but it needs to be professional. Yeah, guess, Something yeah. of quality. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm serious, RJ. Yeah. Last chance. Yeah, of course. Professional, got it. You're forgetting something? You're gonna need a partner, RJ. I don't need a partner. Nobody wants to work with me. You said it yourself. Well, there is one person. No. As a result of the lawsuit, I got this internship here. I mean, but hands down, best assignment ever. And when Bev let me work with you, I jumped at the opportunity because I mean, duh, who wouldn't? You're like a legend here. I mean, we haven't worked together. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. I mean, I've only been here for like a couple of months. Can I tell you what my favorite story is of yours? In 2012, when you covered the Macomb County Mangler. Oh my God. Oh my God, best one. 2014, when you... It's Gus, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Gus. Let me tell you how this is going to work. I need this to go as smoothly as possible. So when we get on location, you're going to stand there, and hold the camera, and you're not going to say a word. Got it, boss. What the shit is this? It looks like a party. It's November. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, wreck it, Ralph. This shit is expensive. All right, this button right here, you see this? This is the on button, okay? Don't drop it. Okay, just keep me in frame. Just keep it steady. For the love of God, don't zoom in on faces like we're in the office. This isn't fucking NBC. Thank you. 
You're doing it right now, are you? Oh, is this like like the news or something? Uh, yeah, actually, we're uh, we're here. To... Oh shit! So you guys are here to see the leprechaun. The what? Uh, the leprechaun? Everybody's been talking about it. That's why we're all here. You're all out here having a party because you've seen a uh, leprechaun. Well, personally, I, I haven't seen it. It only comes out at night. <laughs> so why are you all out here right now? Hey, if you guys are here to see the leprechaun, say yeah! Yeah! Hey there. Excuse me, we're with WSTV. My name's RJ. Would you mind telling me what's going on here with this Dude, leprechaun? Uh, I don't have time for your bullshit. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a uh, hundred thousand in debt, and uh, I'm just looking for that pot of gold. Do you want some hot chocolate? No, I don't want some hot okay, chocolate. Okay, then please get the fuck out of my way. I've created to be what I think the most accurate artistic rendition of the creature. I don't All have right. time for your bullshit. All right, I don't have time for your bullshit, okay? Right, let's get the hell out of here. No, I don't believe in leprechauns. It's the gnomes you gotta look out for. Gnomes? <laughs> gnomes. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Cut. That means turn it off. Here, just give me... Just hit the button. Here, no, give no, me the camera. I you can do it. No, no, you can't. I know no, how to. You have to. no idea what the Stop fuck you're doing. It's not you're a deal. Fuck. Come no, on. You idiot intern. Just no. give me the camera. We're gonna fuck it. this whole shoot up for me. That's not true. Yes, no. shit. I'm sorry, hey, we can get another one, right? No, you can't just fix it. The lens is shattered. Well, I can go to and buy another one. It doesn't matter. What are you talking yeah. about? Aren't you the crazy guy from that video? No. Where did you even come from? Everybody in my class watched that. That was embarrassing. Yeah, I bet it was for that guy. When are you going to go crazy again? Listen, little girl, I don't know who you think I am, but... Wait, what? What are you doing? All right, you know what? You have parents, right? Where are they? Where's your dad? Where's yours? <laughs> ah! Motherfucker, fuck this fucking station! Bro, that's the guy from the news! What is he fucking doing? Fucking dumb cock intern! Fuck! God damn it! Hey, RJ, you look upset, so I got you this. There's a hot chocolate stand. I should have known Beth would give me something like this. Sure, send RJ out to cover the fucking leprechaun story. Give Anderson the story about the dead kids they found in the sewer. Where are my dead kids? Huh? I know it's not the story you want, but it's not that bad. You know what the worst part is? On top of the story and the shitty interviews, I have to do it all with you. The dipshit intern who can't even handle a fucking camera. How did you even get this job? Don't answer that. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth. Do you have any idea how important this was to me? We don't have the footage we need. Without that fucking camera, we can't get anymore. This was my last chance to show them I could still do this. And now, now it's all gone to shit. It was mine too. I'm sorry, I get nervous. You're the best reporter at the station. And I thought if I worked with you, I could learn something, a thing or two. I don't know, it's stupid. They told me that if I screwed up one more time... Well, it looks like we're both out of a job. Happy? When are you gonna go crazy again? When are you gonna go away? Why do you keep doing it if it makes you crazy? I don't know, I like it. Why? Because it makes me happy. Why? Because I'm good at it. Why? I don't know. Shouldn't you be smiling if it makes you happy? I am! Er... I was.
Look, I... I'm sorry I messed up the shoot. Well, I was acting like a dick, so... That's okay. I expected that. Well, it's just... I've been watching you on TV for... Well, forever. And it's different than working with you in real life, but still. You still wanted to work with me. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Nobody wants to work with me. Not anymore, at least. I guess that makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, we can look on the bright side. This isn't like May 2009 when you interviewed those people because they thought that their trailer park neighbors were being abducted by the alien. Holy shit. I forgot that story. I, I was a kid just starting out. Nobody watched that. I didn't even watch that. It was a shit show. I did. It was a shit show. But it was good work. I was thinking, Anderson can have the dead kid story, because what do a couple dead kids have on a real-life leprechaun, right? But we don't have a camera. Yeah, you're right. Shit. Hey, kid! That thing's shooting 4K? Today? Curiosity has caught the eye of this college campus that believes they have a real, live leprechaun on their hands. Our camera hasn't yet spotted the creature, but a little bit of bad luck won't keep us away. If there's a story, we'll be here to cover it. This is RJ from WSTV, signing off. Now, who wants to the leprechaun? Yeah. So, not bad, right? Not what I was expecting from you, RJ. But to be frank, I wasn't expecting anything at all. Good job, gentlemen. See, I told you it was better than Anderson's story. <laughs> <clears throat> now, there's a matter of the camera. It's coming out of somebody's paycheck. So I need to know who broke it. So there was this little girl. Well, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, crowds are coming by the dozens to get an up-close view at what some say is a piece of Irish folk folklore. Some people in the Crichton area of Mobile say a leprechaun is taking up residence in their neighborhood. A leprechaun. NBC 15's <laughs> Brian Johnson has more. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community, many of you bringing binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I got to do look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun.